Okay, you click the link below and you ended up on this screen. First thing you may notice is there are the options of either a window, Apple or Linux download. Choose whichever of these is suitable for you and then just simply download whichever option best suits you. Once it's downloaded, go to your download folder, double click, click yes for install, and then once it's installed, open it up. And once it's opened, you should see the next screen. You've opened it up and now you've got a screen something like this. May not necessarily be exactly like this and as I go through it, things may look a little different, but that's because I've had to break this down and create a new profile and get it as close to a virgin screen as I possibly can. One thing that I do have that you won't is if you look up here, I have Owned Pro. That's because it's a plugin. I do have one or two other plugins, but again, I'll come to them because they're a little bit more advanced. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to create our scenes. And for that, we'll come up here to Docs, click on it, you get a uh, drop-down menu. Make sure that Lock Docs is unticked. Come down to Scenes, click on that, and it comes into place. Now, if your scene isn't windowed as mine is, and it's just sitting there, and it's possibly looking something like that, easy, easy enough. All you do is click on the top of the scene, drag it down to wherever you want, and I usually have everything down the bottom. I just prefer it that way. Where you put it, that's entirely up to you. That's why you need to make sure that the lock docks is unticked, because if you don't, then you're not gonna be able to move anything. A quick way of checking is if you've got the windowing window symbol there in the bottom corner, that means that you can move everything around, you can undock it. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our sources. So again, we've got already got it open, click on sources, and it adds it here. Now we'll go back to docs, we'll pull in an audio mixer. Everything, as you can see, is blank except for the scene. You always have one scene, you cannot have a blank scene. Back up to docs anyway, and for the final time for now, we're gonna come down to controls, click on that, and there we go. If it doesn't look exactly like that, it doesn't matter. But I would advise just moving everything around and getting it roughly how it is here, just so it's easier to follow along. And then if and when you decide that you want everything in a different place or set up differently, you can move everything around and get it to suit your style. So for now, let's create some more scenes. We've got Act 1, Scene 1. Now there's two ways of doing it. You can either click on the plus sign, which brings up this here, and you just click OK. So you've now added your second scene, your second act. The alternative is you come into this window, anywhere that's blank, right click, go on Add, click that, brings exactly the same thing up. However, before we click OK, what we're gonna do, you can see it's highlighted, we're gonna rename it. So I'm just gonna rename that to End, because that is going to be the end screen click OK and there we have it now to rename these other two scenes just highlight them right click come to rename it's exactly the same as any other file or folder that you may have on your system really and I'm going to rename this game and we'll do exactly the same for the final scene right click rename it and we'll make this one start now in the future you can just name them as you want them as you add them, just name them. So let's come to game, and we're gonna add an audio input device. Again, you can either click on the plus, or you can right click in the window. It tells you right here exactly what you can do. So I'll right click, go to add, and then we'll come across, come up to where it says audio input capture, click on that, and then we get this. Now, I'm not gonna stick it in and then rename it, I'm just gonna re rename it straight off the bat. And I'm gonna call this Yeti. And the reason I do that is because that's my mic. I have a blue Yeti, so I can identify it. I just stick it in. Now we'll come up with this screen and you've got the properties for Yeti. So you can either leave it as default. However, I have multiple audio input devices, many of which are headsets with microphones and I don't want to them be used. So I'll click on the Yeti to make that specific to what I want. If you have a specific audio device, by all means, click on that and then just click OK. And as you can see, We've got the audio mixer has been populated. What we need to do now really is find the overlays we want and put them in. And I will now head over to Owned and show you how to do that. So just follow the link below and we'll go over to Owned Pro and get to the overlays. Okay, right, well you've clicked the link and it's brought you to this page. What we do need to do is we need to create an account. So if you go to 
my account or you can log in it comes up with the option of logging with twitch or to register you can so you can either do that with twitch discord or email the choice is yours once you've done that brings up here log in with twitch and it tells you login successful what we really want to do is go over to pro so if we're going log into pro you'll need to register it's free to register come to the dashboard and then come over to overlays once you've come to overlays you can scroll down what we want are these little beauties right here it just says modular it doesn't say premium so these are completely free and there are quite a few of them just keep scrolling down and you'll find plenty there so let's pick one simple and we'll just get it and we'll, let's get that one all we do is click install works its magic and it makes them so now what we have is a simple starting scene ending and if you can have a be right back screen which again is just another variation really of the start and end screen and then you've got uh, your talking slash gaming scene so let's start off by opening this up and this will show you exactly what it is that you're wanting so what you're gonna have to do is if you want to display any of your social media you need to come here and put in whatever no it's not okay so you've opened up the starting stream all you need to do then is if you wish to stick your information here all you do is find the right one which will tell you here uh, this is for my youtube which is that so let's go up a level which is there and all you do then it would be where that you can do the same for all the others however if you don't have any socials or you don't want to share them all you do is just come across and which one was it, it was instagram wasn't it that i don't have which i think is that one yeah so all you need to do is just click that and it hides it again what you need to do is save it copy the url and then you take that to obs so after copying the url we need to come back to obs and stick it into the relevant scene which is the start scene so we'll come across to sources we right click on that or you could use the plus it's entirely up to you we'll come across go to browser click on that opens up this window let's change that name to starting screen click ok the reason i've put starting screen as opposed to start again is because it won't allow you to have two things of the same name now we need to delete that url and paste in our own we need to change the dimensions so the height uh, sorry the width goes to 1920 and the height goes to 1080 which is your standard sort of screen you may have noticed that as you've been watching this video my screen sort of like changes that's because i have an ultra wide and i don't have those dimensions if i attempt to cram my screen into those dimensions it looks horrible anyway let's click on ok and what will happen next is magic as you can see it's now imported what we've copied in and that when you go live is what your viewers will see but because we need um, something to display the sound we need to get a desktop audio into the audio mixer for that I come across the settings go to audio for this you want desktop audio for this one I am just going to use the default because it doesn't matter what, what you use it, it's it'll come out this is just so that you can hear what's going on or other people can and then what you do is click apply and okay and it's integrated that and there's no sound there and if we go to game this will all disappear because it's not in there as you can see and the same with end so i am just going to go and um, copy the urls to game and end stick them in okay so now i've copied everything in so we've got the start screen we've got the gaming screen these up here that uh, have got names in that's because they're people that have followed me or subscribed or cheered and then you've got the ending screen i haven't bothered changing the uh, names but if you want to do that that's perfectly fine so now what we want to do is come to the game again we want to come over to the sources 
will add, um, where are we? Game capture. I'll leave that generally as it is. Click OK. And then I usually play in a full screen, but if it's a windowed, then you can change it here. And if it is windowed, then you may need to put in what the name of the game is. So I, I generally play full screen, which is that. Click OK. And then that is all set and ready to go. So I'll show you what it looks like in the next window. But something I must add before we go, um, what you need to do is ensure that it's all layered properly. What we need to do is ensure that that's layered properly so that it will all be seen. So move the game capture underneath the gaming screen because then that means that this is all on top. The background is transparent, so you'll see it. So you've got gaming screen there, game capture, and then Yeti. And then that's it. Everything is absolutely tickety-boo. Well, there we go. This is what your viewers will see. Obviously, it doesn't quite, my screen doesn't quite fit in properly with the dimensions because, well, it looks horrible. Right, that's why I have my canvas set differently. We'll just go to the end screen and then we'll come back because there's just one more thing we need to do and then we can get up and we can actually do some streaming. Once you've done all this, you're good to go. Like I said, there's just one more thing we need to do in order to go live. And what we need to do there is we need to actually link our account. So if we go to settings, go to stream, click uh, here to whichever stream you wish to go to, whether it's Twitter, Twitch. But what I'll do for now is I will show you Twitch. You go to there, you connect your account. Let's really hit that. Put my name in. That's it. It's now connected. He's here. All right, your chat and your stream information. You can stick them wherever you like. I usually actually stick them there. Oh, and look, the chat box come along. And that's, that's it. That's everything there set up. All we need to do then is start streaming and that will send my stream directly to Twitch. There you have it, a nice simple build. I will be going over more complex things at a later date and showing a few hints and tips of how to overcome certain things. But just before we go, if you click on the padlock on all your things, then what it does, it locks them all and that means that you cannot make any adjustments to them. So, thank you for watching, happy streaming.